everybody what's up fourth time is a charge right charm um so i want to talk about the movie not of this earth the 88 version featuring the wonderful tracy lords who as far as well she's not naked in here so if you know her from her adult film industry work it's not that she is actually a pretty good actress uh, the movie was, the guy's name is Jim, W-Y-N-O-R-S-K-I, uh, Chopping Mall and Death Stalker 2. He basically is a scene-by-scene -scene shot of the 57 Corman movie, which I have not yet watched yet, and I do have. Uh, the basis is that Lawrence is a nurse for this guy by the name of Mr. Johnson, who's always wearing sunglasses, and the reason is, he can. If you see underneath the glasses, his eye, their eyes are blank. His eyes are blank, and he can control people, do whatever he wants by using them. It's like telepathy and that. And he hires her to give blood transfusions because basically, the planet he's from, they need blood. Their bodies are messed up due to. I remember in the fifty-seven. I'm trying to remember if it's on here now. Again. Basically, it's because of this nuclear war where their their cells were messed up, so they constantly need blood. And I remember, like, the pay is really good. You know, gives her a gold brick for pay. And yeah, go figure that one out. Um, she basically just try, you know, starts figuring out what's going on because he constantly needs these blood transfusions more and more as his body starts having issues. And it is the Shout uh, Factory version, which, great looking DVD, uh, you do have her on this side. She's in lingerie, but that's about it, you know, nothing that a lot of people would get excited over. Um, she was wanted to be the main actress to play Nadine. And apparently they had a hunter down because she didn't have an agent. She has been in a lot more work since then. I can't. There's one other actress I can't think of her name offhand that actually went from P movies to doing a lot of other stuff. I wish I could remember now. She's a really great actress. Um, I can't think of who it is. That's the problem. And so, Mr. Johnson is kind of terrifying. And when I saw the movie, it was probably somewhere between, I want to say, 96 and 98. Um, I know our local video store was still open at that time. I saw it on VHS, uh, which is the only thing you had in there, obviously. Um, I don't remember. I don't remember, you know, seeing on DVD after that. Did I have to look it up? Yes. And I talked about it in a Pictures video quite a while back. I don't remember why I bought it. Um, I was going through a stack of movies looking for something else. I'm like, oh, yeah, I need to watch this again. And then I found the Carmen version, which I do have, which is 57. It's like part of the three pack. Roger Carmen did so many movies, and so many of them were interesting. Um,. You know, as I was getting ready to do the review, I was kind of thinking, you know, if the guy comes from a you know, planet that needs blood, and they actually figure out a way to kill him. By, and it happens by, by weird design. And it's one of those things, like, he basically starts at first, you know, getting people where he can murder them, get their blood, and then he needs to change that. It, it, her acting is good. Johnson's is, the guy who plays Mr. Johnson is okay. Everything else is kind of okay. Uh, it is, like I said, you know, it is a shot by shot of the 57 film. From what I understand, she did some. She did imp improvise her lines somewhat, and they actually. They had like 12 days to film it, and they did it in like 11, apparently. Does it show? Not really. It is mainly a central location of his house, Johnson's house. So you don't have really this big setup. 
So I can see why it's easy to do that. You have pre-existing script, pre-existing movie. The gripe that I have with it really is some of the flow of it doesn't feel right. Maybe I'm wrong. Some of the ways, like... I don't know how to describe it. it that is the problem is with him, the character Johnson and the entire setup of the time frame. Because if you think about between 57 and 88, there was still the threat of the Cold War. You know, people were worried about nuclear attacks. So... Let me pull it up here. Cold War started in 47 and ran until 91. So at that time, I can understand kind of like where it might have been relevant, where there was just still this idea of nuclear war. It's not really a prominent theme as much because of how they do things. So it is more appreciated. I would recommend watching it. If I watch the Kremlin version, I might talk about it. I do have it. Um, this, like I said, this is not how much I paid for I did this in another video. It has Attack of the Crab Monsters, War of the Satellites, and Not of This Earth. Right, and this is the triple feature. These were released by Shout. And... Yeah, it's kind of... Like, basically, if you look at this version right here, and you compare it to this, I think this is probably, I hate to say it, even the first time you wouldn't see something like this, um, definitely prefer this version. Corman did so, so much stuff. It's not even funny. Uh... This is the this has two on one. This is basically the DVD for Attack the Crab Monsters and Not of This Earth. The problem I have with Not of This Earth really is is not some of the stuff really doesn't directly have you know some of the stuff is just like doesn't feel right, especially with the way you see the movie, you see these characters. Ultimately. It's worth it. Check it out if you want to. Like I said, try to find it as a free version first because I don't. It took me a while to hunt down that version. I don't remember why. The Corman version was a lot easier to find. I I'd heard about it, but I didn't. I never saw it. Like every local video store at that time. Like this is stuff you would not have seen. There are a lot of movies that I didn't see until I started working in another town. They had a video store. I actually had a couple of them, but like the video, the store that I worked in, the video store was not as much of a selection. I think Corman probably did a lot of great work. Um, I've seen one of his other movies. I can't remember which one. But ultimately, you know, it's does it stand up till today? Probably not. Uh, simply because it's '88 some of the special effects. I wish I could show like that's Johnson and you can see his eyes how they glow. Um, they do introduce another character who is from the same planet as him. That's kind of a weird experience altogether which quite frankly yeah, I don't know. I know it's it's one of those rare movies that I'm going to say this. I know there are people who talk about movies they don't like. And they have to talk about movies they do like. My problem is, the movies that I don't like, I've only probably watched once. I won and owned them, and I've probably forgotten about them. Um, and a lot of the movies that I've seen, you know, people said, you know, they're not mainstream anymore. I need to see Venom, The Joker... Like, I have them. But, ultimately, 
I kind of feel like a lot of movies have lost their way in a bit, in a way. Um, you know, the, from what we you know, see in the U.S., it's like The Ring. The Ring, I mean, I'm getting Ring U, R-I-G-U on the, in the mail at some point, you know. Once I watch it, I'll talk about it, because I've, you know, I've read the original book. But I think we need to really keep an eye, you know, watch these classics. Because they still do deserve love, you know, no matter how old they are. No matter what you think the actors or actresses, you know, she does a good job. I think she's probably the best actor in the movie. Because of the way she does everything. Johnson, I, I understand the way the character is supposed to be, but it just... It doesn't feel there, you know. It, it's just... It just doesn't feel right. It doesn't work. I don't know. Um... <laughs> My apologies. <laughs> it's like up until after two in the morning. Um, only got like six hours of sleep. So I did not meet on. I I've tried doing this like five times, and so much has happened during that time frame. So let me know if you've seen it. Let me know what you think. Um, I do have a few more. These are these reviews are probably out every two weeks, maybe. Once I've got other stuff I want to talk about. Actually, got. You probably see this one first, and then I do. Just let y'all know. Um, one review that I want to do, and I found it along with the other stuff, is I do want to watch uh, a Walk in the Woods, which is based off of a book by uh, a guy by the name of Bill Bryson. It is actually um, something he did. He walked through the Appalachian Mountains. So something to keep an eye out for. That's it, everybody. I'll talk to you all later. Take care. Bye.